Hi, this is Megan Keen with Avid Artist Relations here in Austin, Texas for South by Southwest 2011. And I'm here with Miranda Jul July, director of The Future, which is screening in the film festival here this year. So Miranda, can you tell us a little bit about how um, the concept for The Future came to you? Well, after my first movie, me and you and everyone we know, I really, I knew I wanted to make another movie eventually, but um, not right now. Mm -hmm. um, and so I made a performance and um, by the time I was done with that performance, I was ready to make another movie and I basically turned that performance into something um, that would work as a movie, which was a, a good way in. I mean, no one will ever see that performance, but the movie is probably a lot stranger in a way for having evolved through that medium. And so um, can you tell us a little bit about what the film covers, what the synopsis of the film is? Hmm, I'm so bad at that. Um, uh, it's about a couple and um, they're going to adopt a cat in about a month and they the cat's going to need a lot of special care, like kind of like a newborn baby. And so they have this one month left to try and do everything they wanted to do. And they unplug the internet to like really focus on that, which um, in a way gives them all too much time and allows for sort of crisis and paralysis and um, hilarity ens ensues. <laughs> Not actually, it's a quite a sad movie. Um, uh, and um, and it gets uh, more and more surreal as the emotions um, get get more heartbreaking. Yeah, that's actually sort of a characteristic of a lot of the work that you do. That there's a lot of seriousness to it, but also some comedy can be found, um, which I assume has to do a lot with how the, f the film's crafted in post production as well. Um, can you talk a little bit about how you worked with editor your editor Andrew Bird on putting the film together? Um, yeah, he, I mean, the same as a lot of directors, he he was editing while I was shooting and um, a week or so after I, I finished shooting, he showed me an assembly, just his, you know, super rough thing, which I was, I was you know, expecting the worst, right? I was <laughs> ready to kill myself. So I, I remember saying after we got out of the, you know, three and a half hour, whatever, um, screening of that, because uh, I didn't know him that well at that point, I was like, I think you're a really good editor. <laughs> because I could tell already that there was, I mean, there's so many painful things that I knew would go that he just had to show me. Right. Um, but already there was a little bit of something that was, uh, that he was already starting to do something which I could then, like, pick up and, and, um, and have some energy to go with. Yeah, and then, I mean, I'm in there every single day. I After the first one, I was like, this time you have to do that thing people do where they go away and come back and have perspective. And like, that never happened. Um, all day, every day. Yeah. And so but you were um, working, some of your post-production went through Germany, right? Can you tell a little bit about why that was? Well, um, uh, enough of the financing came from Germany um, that, and part of the, the stipulation of that was that we hired German crew, which was a little laborious for the shoot, flying them all out. And Andrew, um, though he's originally from the UK, he is he's a German citizen. Um, uh, we kind of pretended we were in Germany <laughs> when we were really in LA. Um, uh, but but at least we were yeah we were that was. Um, I mean, he was also a great editor, but I had, you know, I did also have to hire a German citizen. Okay. And so um, I know that me and you and everyone we know was cut on Final Cut, and then you uh, were on Media Composer 5 for this one. Wh why was that switch made? That's what Andrew wanted, and, um, you know, we were determined to get him everything he needed uh, to the best of our abilities. So, yeah, we were lucky to find a place right, right near me that had a a suite with everything avid wise that we needed and you, the, sh the film was shot on red mm -hmm. um have you shot with that camera previously no yeah this was the first time and how did you like it it was fine i mean i don't you know i never have shot a 35 millimeter film okay. so i'm not <laughs> i'm not like god the good old days you know <laughs> um it seemed fine to me yeah great great well so if if people are 
not here at the festival, but want to keep uh, in the loop of what's happening with the future or, um, you know, see information about it, where can they go? Is there a website or when is it releasing? Yes, well, it'll, it'll start coming out around late July okay. in theaters. Um, and, uh, and pretty soon there'll be the website for the movie, which will be at the future of the future. Dot com. Okay, perfect. Well, thank you so much for taking the time yeah. and stay tuned for more from South by Southwest 2011.